Gandhi, Father of the Nation. October 2 is a very important day for our country. We celebrate this day as Gandhi Jayanti. It is the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation. We also call him Bapu with great respect and affection. Long ago, on this day in 1869, a cute little baby was born in Porbandar town in Gujarat. Father Karamchand Gandhi and mother Putlibai named the baby Mohan. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi As a child, he was greatly influenced by the honesty and strict discipline of his father and by the simplicity and religious thoughts of his mother. At a very early age, the shy little child learned great values of truthfulness, integrity, honesty and discipline. He lived these values throughout his life and rightly demonstrated the power of these values to the entire world. When Mohan grew older, like many other teenagers, he also fell in bad company and picked up a few bad habits such as smoking and stealing. But soon he realized his mistakes and decided to confess. He wrote down everything on a piece of paper and put it in the hands of his father who was then sick. In the letter, he asked for punishment and promised never to repeat the mistakes. His father read the letter and without uttering a word, tore up the paper with a deep sigh. Tears rolled down his cheeks and he lay down. Seeing his father's sorrow, Mohan was deeply grieved. He realized how much his father loved him. Later on, he came to understand that it was his honest confession that made his father react in this totally unexpected, non-violent way. This incident left a lasting mark on his mind. He realized the power of truth. From that day, he resolved to always tell the truth. The incident also revealed to him the calming and healing power of non-violence or ahimsa, which could transform everything. Later, he thus took it up as a weapon in our country's struggle for freedom. After passing his matriculation examination, Mohan attended college at Bhavnagar. At that time, the idea of going to England fascinated him. His elder brother then decided to send him to England to become a barrister. He left for England in September 1888. After finishing his studies, he returned to India and started practice as a lawyer in Rajkot. After some time, an offer came to him to go to South Africa as a legal advisor to an Indian firm. Mohandas accepted the offer and in May 1893, he went to Natal in South Africa. In those days, there was discrimination between the white and the colored people. In South Africa, Indians were ill-treated and disgraced. They were called coolies. Very soon, Gandhiji too had his share of this experience. 
He was travelling in a train to Pretoria in a first class compartment. On the way, a European passenger entered the compartment and found Gandhi ji in it. He complained to the station master. Take the schoolie out and put him in a lower class. Gandhi ji raised an objection that he had a first class ticket. But nobody heard him. A policeman pushed him out with his bag and baggage. It was a very humiliating experience. He decided to fight against this inhuman color discrimination and help the Indians living there in their struggle for civil rights. However, Unlike other contemporary protesters, he took up the weapons of truth and non-violence, which he later named as Satyagraha, to fight against the injustice. He called a meeting of the Indians in Pretoria and told them to form a league. This was his first public speech. It caused a new awakening among Indians. Gradually, he became the leader of the Indian community in South Africa. After coming back to India in 1915, Gandhiji decided to fight against the injustice of the British towards his countrymen. Very soon, many people from all over the country joined him. They started calling him Papu the father and Mahatma, the great soul. Along with his followers, Gandhiji non-violently united the whole of India against the British rule. The British arrested Bapu and his followers and sent them to jail on many occasions. But it did not deter them fighting against injustice. Gandhiji emphasized on Satyagraha as the method to be followed in the national movement against the British. He insisted on showing passive resistance, non-violent disobedience, boycotts, hunger strikes and so on in the freedom movement. Finally, the British understood that it would not be possible to rule India in the face of such opposition and decided to go back to their own country. Our country got independence on August 15, 1947. It was the first time in the history of the world and mankind that a huge victory was achieved by Satyagraha. Mahatma Gandhi inspired millions of people the world over to take the path of non-violence and civil disobedience. The whole world has recognized the greatness of Bapu and his novel method of Satyagraha or non-violent protest.